What is going on guys? This is 207 Blackhawks here. And this is a remake tutorial for one of my coin tricks that I did about a year ago in like October of 2011. Um, the reason why I'm doing a remake is because the, uh, the camera quality of that video was just pure awful and it sucked because I was recording it on a, uh, a crappy Dell laptop. So now that I finally have an iPad, I can make my videos a little bit better quality so yeah and this is my favorite coin trick of all time because it doesn't it doesn't um, involve any gimmicking like a uh, fishing line or tinfoil quarters and yeah and it has the greatest effect you'll ever see so you can try it on your family members your friends even someone on the street and I guarantee 100% they will be amazed so what you need is a just an ordinary quarter or a coin doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, this this is not a gimmick quarter, not a fake quarter. This is yeah, you can tell by the sound. This is a ordinary quarter. And then you need some paper. Um, doesn't matter what paper. It can be grid paper, lined paper. I'm using lined paper, or printer paper, construction paper. Anything with paper in its name would work, I guess. And then you're gonna need a magic wand. Um, I'm using a poker chip because I don't have a magic wand lying around. But if you do, then then use that. And you can use anything as for that. So as always in all my videos, I'm gonna show you the performance, the performance at the beginning, and then I'm gonna show you how it's done afterwards. So to start off the trick, I'm gonna rip a small square section out of my piece of paper and then get rid of that. And then um what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, you can um you can also use scissors, but I was too lazy to go get them. So yeah, you can rip. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't even really have to be near perfect. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my quarter in the middle of the piece of paper, and I'm gonna start by folding the piece of paper over and over again until the quarter's all lost in there. So like so. Yeah, and then, uh, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but it is definitely in there. You can even flick it. You can hear the difference. Yeah, so there's definitely a coin in there. And you can see the crease. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But yeah, there's a crease in there. Now, my next step is to grab my magic wand, which is over here. And then all I have to do is, uh, wave my magic wand over my quarter. And then just give a little snap and a little rub. And just like that, I can rip and tear my piece of paper apart as so. So, that's my performance. It's got an amazing effect, and here's how it's done. There's my quarter. And you can, you can need, uh, I mean, every, I wasn't bullcrapping you at the beginning. Literally, everything you see here is what you're going to need. I wasn't bullcrapping at the beginning. This is a regular piece of lined paper, a regular quarter, and a regular uh, poker chip. <laughs> anyway, magic wand, whatever. So, the way how it's done is you're going to rip a square out or a rectangle. And you can use scissors if you want. And here's, here's the part where you need to make it not look obvious. So, you're going to place it somewhat towards, well, here's towards your view, somewhat towards the right side of your piece of paper. Not too far right like that, but, you know, somewhere, like, draw a line towards the middle and then put it on the right half. Okay. After you've done that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fold the, um, the piece of paper over the quarter. And then make it somewhat close to, uh... So as you can see, um, make it somewhat close towards the edge of your uh, your flap right here, and I'll explain why later. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take towards your view. You're gonna take um, your left side or your your right side, and fold it underneath like that, and do the same with your left side. Fold it underneath like that, and then you're gonna take this little flap over here that separates these two halves. And you're just going to fold that back also. So everything's folding backwards. Until you got this kind of square-like shape, an even smaller square. 
And then you're, now, here's the tricky part. There's a flap right there, which allows the quarter to slide out, as so. What you're going to want to do is to your uh, spectators, you're going to want to kind of press down the quarter. Um, not making anything too obvious, just kind of like, going like this, be like, and then hold um, the flap uh, with your thumb, and then say, even flick it, there's a quarter in there, and you can even see the crease as well. And I'll explain why you need to crease that a little bit, in a little bit. So like I said, and then you can even show them the difference. Now here's the tricky part. Now this, if you have a, I have a short table, I couldn't find a taller table. But if you have a taller table, this should be really simple. But with a short table, you're going to need to, it's going to be a little bit more complicated. So after you let them flick it, and you're holding the flap, take the opposite side and hold it with your middle finger or your index finger and your thumb, and leaving the flap open like that, and say, all right, now here's where my magic wand comes in place. Take your magic wand, and then, well, as you're taking your magic wand, kind of go down here really quickly, and then dump it out onto the ground. Make sure you're doing this on rug, or you can have it land in your lap. Like I said, if you're using a higher table, then it should land in your lap, but I don't. So my knees can't go under the table. But yeah. So if you have a short table, make sure you have a rug beneath. If you're using a high table, then make sure it lands in your lap. So when you're grabbing your magic wand, you're going to slip it out. Now you can see that the crease is still there, but the quarter is now on the ground. So that's a quick move. Now I did that kind of slow for you guys to notice, but this is how it, lo it would look in uh, normal fast motion. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab my magic wand, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to like that, alright? Makes sense? And now you can still kind of see that crease, so people will still believe that the quarter's still in there. Now the rest is just performance. Wave it over, snap, rub, clap, whatever you want to do, abracadabra, and then the rest is performance, and rip it up. There you go, guys. That is my trick. I really hope you enjoyed it with my new quality camera. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to 207 Blackhawks. And also, you can use any coin for this. You can use a penny. You can use a... What else do we got here? You can use a nickel. You can use a dime. I suggest a quarter, though, because it's uh, medium sized and you could use what else we got here I don't know you could use a half dollar you could use a dollar so on whatever yeah so that's it you guys have heard everything else I said rate comment subscribe make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you all next time thank you